You remember that at the very beginning of the book of the book of the letter to Galatians in Sjećate chapter 1 verses uh, verses 6 and onward Sjećate se da u prvom poglavlju poslanice Galaćanima od šestog kretka pa nadalje Paul is using very strong words Pavao koristi vrlo jake riječi Obviously there were some challenges facing the churches of Galatia. Najrovatnije su crkve u Galaciji suočavale određene izazove, ozbiljne izazove. And as far as I know what Paul has ever written, these were the most the strongest words. I koliko ja se sjećam, možda su ovo bili najteže i najstrože riječi koje je Pavao koristio. He said not long time ago, I'm paraphrasing. Not long time ago. Ja sada parafraziram, Pavao rekao ne tako davno. You heard the gospel of Jesus declared plainly to you. Vi ste čuli evanđelje koje vam je jasno navješteno. It was so clearly presented to you that it looked like as if Jesus Christ was crucified right in your midst. Bilo je tako jasno prezentirano evanđelje pred vašim očima, kao da je Krist sam bio pred vašim očima razabit. So what is going on with you now? A što se sada događa s vama? How come you are abandoning that gospel? Kako možete odbiti to evanđelje? Who has twisted your minds? Ko vas je preokrenuo vaš um? And then he says, I want to say this very plainly. I ja želim sada, Pavel kaže dalje, ovo vrlo jednostavno reći. I don't care who that person is. Ja uopće me nije briga koja ta osoba bila. But if someone comes to you and preaches and declares another kind of gospel. Ali ako vam neko dolazi i navješća drugo evanđelje, drugačije evanđelje. Let him be eternally cursed. Neka bude vječno prokljen. Let him be anatomized some translations. Neka bude atomanziran, neki prijevodi govore. And then he goes again, just to make sure that they got him really right. I onda ponavlja u stvar da ne bi bilo slučajno da ga nisu čuli. He says, I want to say it again. Ja želim to ponoviti, kaže Pavel. If anyone comes and teaches a different gospel, even if we come back to you and teach you another gospel. Ako nekako dolazi i uči vas drugo evanđelje, pa čak bi li to mi? Let him be accursed. Neka je prokret. Very strong words. To su jake riječi. To me that means that the proper understanding of what the gospel is all about is so central and crucial ono što, to our faith. Ono što meni ovo znači, da za našu vjeru što je krucijalno i što je bitno je pravo razumijevanje evanđelja. And obviously when Paul uses those words he means that really understanding what Jesus did for us is so essential that he is not giving anyone right to manipulate with this. No Pavel smatra da razumijevanje evanđelja, onoga što je Krist učinio za nas, je toliko važno i toliko bitno da neće dopustiti nikome da s time manipulira. There are many areas where we can disagree. Postoje puno područja na kojima se možemo ne slagati. But when it comes to understanding who Jesus is and what he did for us, ko je Isus Krist i što je On učinio za nas. This is so essential to je toliko važno da je Paul says, let him be a curse who teaches you differently. Neka je prokret, ona je Pavel kaže, koji vas pouči drugačije. Just quickly, what was happening in the churches of Galatia after Paul left? Što se dogodilo u crkvama Galacije kada Pavel otišao s tih prostora? And not only there, whenever he would come and establish a church, a ne samo tamo, gdje god bi Pavel došao i osnivao crkvu. And when he would leave, i kad bi napustio to područje, then there would be people who thought that their duty was to come and fix the things. A na popsu bilo je ljudi koji su smatrali da je njihova misija doći i popraviti stvari koje je Pavel iskrenio. These were not unbelievers. To nisu bili nevjernici. They were believers from Judaism. To su bili judaisti, dakle, vjernici iz židovskog porijeka. And they would say something like this. Oni bi nešto ovako rekli. All this business about Jesus and grace and salvation, this is all right, Paul is right. Sve ovo o Isusu Kristu, o spasenju, o milosti, sve je to u redu, Pavel je upravo. But unless you become a religious Jew, ali dok ne postaneš vjernik židov, it won't really do you much good. A neće ti to puno pomoći. Only if you accept Judaism, samo ako prihvatiš Judaizam, then you are going to enjoy the blessings of the grace of the Lord and what He did for you. Onda ćeš iskusiti blagoslove milosti Božje. 
So they wanted them to put them in a box where they would do the circumcision. On the street they would stave it in a little kutty where they would do the circumcision of the ordinary obrezanja. Nothing wrong with this. This is even fashionable today. Pa niš, ništa loše u tome, čak i moda danas da se ovaj, to prakticira. Ovaj. But you know, if you want to make God happy, then... Men, neke medicinske <laughs> yeah. koristi objašnjavaju da ima. Then it was about dietary rules. A onda je bilo nešto u vezi iskrane. And, 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 and also all kinds of Jewish festivals. I onda sve one židovske svetkovine. Which somehow I see that things are being reversed and many Christians find it fashionable that we should somehow go back to all of this. So they would say to them, you need to get this package if you want this package of Jesus to really be working for you. And Paul is angry. Because he, as he was establishing the churches among the Gentiles, he was teaching them that all of those things that were, were crucial for Judaism, they got in the person of Jesus. So it is not a moving forward when you get all of those things, tako da ne znači da ideš naprijed ako prigodiš ove stare stvari but it means going backward već ići nazad imagine you decide to travel to a place you are not familiar with zamislite da krećete u smjeru dakle neko mjesto uh, koje ne znate and you depend on traffic signs i ovisite o znakovima uh, na cesti you depend on, on, your, on, your, on your map i ovisite o karti or today you depend on GPS ili na, o, vizite danas od GPS. They are all there to assist you. Sve to postoji da vam pomogne, da vas, da vas uput. To get to this destination. Da možete stići do destinacije koje namjeravate. And you are driving and you are faithfully looking at your map and your I GPS. I ovo vozite i vrlo vjerno gledate uh, na vašu kartu i na znakove. And then you finally reach the destination. I konačno dođete na cilj. And, and you are jealously taking your GPS with you and your map with you and you have picked up some signs along the way and you are carrying in the house where you have come. And ask you, leave this in the car while I take it with you. Pa neko vas gaje, pa ostavite to tu u auto, ovaj, zašto to nosite kad ste već stigli? Say, oh no, no, I, I don't want to get lost. Ne, ne, ja ne želim se, ja se ne želim izgubiti, ja trebam ovo. Are you getting the picture what I'm trying to say? Da li dobijete sliku o čemu se radi? There was a purpose for the law. Naravno, bila je svrha zakona. There was, there, the law was those signs. Uh, zakon je su bili ovi znakovi na putu. GPS. Taj GPS. And the, mo- and the map. I karte. Up to the time of Jesus. Sve do dana Isusa Krista. Because the real thing did not yet take place. Jer stvarna stvar još nije uh, se dogodila. Allow me to say the law incarnate did not happen yet. Dakle, Jesus. Uh, utjelovljeni zakon se još nije dogodio. So, Isus se nije dogodio. So the second best was used Tako to da, help those people to get to the point of Jesus. Drugo razredno dobro se koristilo da bi dovelo ljude do Isusa. The same thing, for example, you haven't seen your parents for, I don't know, maybe you, you lost them when you were a child, you can't even remember them. Ista stvar, recimo, da ste uh, izgubili kontakt sa svojim roditeljima još da ste bili djete. And somehow someone gives you pictures of your parents. I netko vam da slike vaših roditelja. And helps you to find them. I pomogne vam da ih pronađete. And believe me, up to the point of meeting your parents, you look at those pictures all of the time. Ponovno, sve ste te roditelji, zagrljite ih, ali se vratite na svoje slike i budite u njih. Because that's the only thing you have. Jer to je sve ono što imate. Those pictures are precious. To te slike su vrlo dragocjene za vas. Your parents are beautiful on those pictures. A vaši roditelji su <laughs> divni na tim slikama. And then the day comes when you finally meet your parents. I onda dođe dan kada konačno svoje roditelje susretne. And you're disappointed, you say, no, I, I go back, I prefer my pictures. I onda kažete, ne, vraćam se nazad, više volim ove slike. That means staying under the law. To znači ostati pod zakonom. Or you carry on constantly looking at the pictures rather than your parents. 
ili stalno gledate na svoje slike osim da gledate na svoje roditelje. So this was the problem with the church in Galatia. Evo to je bio problem crkve u Galaciji. They were going forward, they were going backward. Nisu išli naprijed, nego su išli nazad. And what is even worse? I ono što je još gore. To do this is not a matter of joking. Jer ovo nije šala raditi tako nešto. Because when you have finally reached Jesus, when you have embraced Jesus, when He means everything to you, and then you allow yourself to get basically you are giving the message. Really, Jesus is not everything I was hoping for. Uh, you know, he is not everything and all. Uh, I, I need some assistance. Uh, I am not really sure whether really this Jesus is constantly is going to really make me true. Uh, what we believe is saying what we have. What I say, I say, I better do that. I better do that because I am not sure. 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 I when you want to somehow help yourself at all. Što, što se događa ako kažete sebi ovaj, pomogni sebi po zakonu? There is this story about an old man priča o starom čovjeku who was so old that his life was going to the end. Da bio tako star da je već bio pri kraju svoga života. And, and, and someone told him, listen, if you manage to get to the top of this mountain, there there is a cave. Ako uspiješ doći na vrh te planine, tamo postoji jedna špilja, spilja. And there in this cave, there is a magic potion, a bottle with a drink. If you drink it, you will become young again. I onda u, to, u toj špilji postoji jedan napitak kad je u bočici jednoj i kad popiješ taj napitak, ponovo ćeš postati mlad. And he thinks, I'm an old man. A on kaže, pa ja sam star. This is very hard for me to do. To je jako teško za mene da to učinim. But if this is true, you know, I'll do my best to get to this cave. Ali ako je to istina, ja ću napraviti sve što se može da dođem do te spi. Because once I drink this portion, jer ako popijem taj napitak, I will be 20 again. Ja ću ponovo biti u 20. I will have a life again. Ponovo ću imati život. So off he goes. He I evo kreće on prema planini. And he takes him several days to get to the top. I onda dođe i treba mu nekoliko dana da stigne do vrha. And when he reaches the top he says, oh my, you know, Lord, I, did, I thought this was the top. This is just the top of one of the mountains. Ja sam mislio da sam sad na vrhu, ali to je samo jedan vrh i evo to ide dalje. The top of the mountain I have to climb is still ahead of me. Jer je vrh ove planine gdje se krije ta špilja još uvijek ispred mene, gore. He is somewhat disappointed. I na razočaranje. But he says, what can I do? Let me try. I ona kaže, pa što mogu drugo? Moram pokušati. Off he goes, he walks. I evo ga ponovo pohoda i vuče se top of something. I ponovo dođe do vrha nečega. And he looks around. I gleda na okolo. He says, oh, but I have not reached the top. Još nisam na vrhu. This is just the top of one of the hills around the mountain. Ponovo je to jedna samo vrh od ovih uh, ovaj, planina uh, na kojima se nalazi. I still have to walk on. Još uvijek moram ići. So, he goes off for several days, weeks, I don't know. Ponovo ili nekoliko dana, tjedana se vuče. He gets on the top of something. I ponovo dođe na vrh nečega. And he looks disappointed. I razočaran gleda. And he sees that there are hundreds of tops around. I onda gleda da su stotine vrhova okolo. Top. Koje vode prema najvišem vrhu. And then he realized, I will never make it. I onda, prepo- onda zaključuje, nikada to neću uspjeti. There is a little bit of answer why we can't be saved by law in this story. Evo, to je, ovoj priči je malo, malo ovaj, naznaka na to zašto se ne možemo spašavati po zakonu. I think that it was Luther or one of the reformers who said also, um, ne znam da li je bio Luther ili neko od reformatora koji su isto tako rekli, if we in any way or form or shape think that we can help ourselves to be saved by the law, ako na neki način smatramo da se na ovaj način možemo, da si možemo pomoći 
ovaj time što ćemo vršiti zakon we are either foolishly overestimating ourselves da ili glupo precjenjujemo sami sebe or we are underestimating the standard of god ili čak spocjenjujemo da dakle, snižavamo boži standard when god gave the law to people of israel vidite kada je bog dao zakon narodu uh, izraelskom židovima he did not adjust the requirements to the fallen standard of people. Uh, Bog nije prilagodio ovaj svoj zakon uh, o standardima onoga što ljudi mogu. He didn't say people are fallen, so I better kind of accommodate my expectations. Uh, ljudi su pali, ovaj grešnici su, ajmo malo prilagoditi standarde njima da to mogu napraviti. He nevertheless gave them an abbreviation of the key things that represent his standards and his character. On je dao ovaj uh, uh, sažetak onoga što predstavlja uh, njegov karakter. And he told them live according to this. I on je rekao evo, živite po tome. There is nothing wrong with the law of God. Nema ništa loše sa zakonom Božim. There is not even a confusion between the law of God and grace. A nema ni za, zbu, zabude između zakona i milosti. The problem is in, the, in this that in the fallen condition problem we, ovaj, u našem palom stanju we have no faculties to live according to the expectations of the law of God. Mi po našim uh, resursima koje imamo nemamo dakle nemamo resurse živjeti po zakonu. You see when the people of Israel came out of the Babylonian uh, bondage and captivity and when they were punished by God left and right kada su bili punished by God in many ways now they are saying oh we better make sure that we do not break the law of God anymore so what did they do something that we all do if we want to follow the Lord according to our human nature a što se događa onda što se dogodilo njima a i što se nama događa kada po ljudskoj naravi i trudu i naporima želimo ovaj Bogu goditi they have built all kind of supporting laws just to make sure that do not sin izgradili su još dodatne potpore zakonske tisuću njih ovaj pravila i regula da slučajno ne bi zgrešili and do you know what they got znate što se dogodilo they, they got what we call you know uh, they, they actually help themselves to try to find all kind of loopholes so that they would actually disobey God but given an appearance that they are following God. Ono što se dogodilo, oni su uvijek tražili neke rupe u zakonu kako bi bili ovaj, uh, slobodni, a s druge strane da imaju uvjerenje da su ipak poslušali zakon. Uh, they built a, a fence with lots of those sticks around. Određene granice su stavili sa mnogim ovaj ogradu sa stupićima. Sa stupićima, da. And they thought, you know, if I get hold of this one or this one or this one, I will be right. As long as I'm just grabbing myself and I feel that space. Ako se držim ovoga i dobro, i sve dok sam ja u ovom okviru, ja sam okej. God is not an idiot. Bog nije neznalica. When we want to gain our salvation, we are turning God into idiot. Kada mi želimo spasenje ostvariti po dijelima, mi Boga smatramo neznalicom. You see, I think he had also good sense of humor when he was giving ten commandments. Ja mislim da Bog ima smisla za humor kad je ljudima dao 10 zapovjedi. When he gave the commandment number 10, uh, kad je dao zapovjed 10. A legalist person could say, "Okay, I'm not killing, I'm not stealing." Okay, čovjek koji kaže, "Okay, ja ne ubijam, ja ne kradem." Uh, okay, I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to as my parents. Ja vam dobro radim, pošto uh, okay. svoje roditelje. I'm not worshiping idols. Ja ne štujem nikakve idole. The God said in number 10. Jo, ali even mogu da kažu 10 to je zapovjedi. Thinking wrongly is a sin. Čak kad razmišljaš krivo, ti je grijeh. And listen, if we are honest to ourselves, ako smo iskreni, čujte. Probably didn't pass 5 minutes and we did think something wrong, right? Nije, nije ne prođe ni 5 minuta da nešto krivo ne napravi. And God by this wanted to say, see is a much worse and goes much deeper into your nature than you would ever think about. Ovim je htio reći Bog ovako, grijeh ide daleko dubri nego što možeš uopće zamisliti. If you look at yourself, ako gledaš na sebe, ne postoji ništa. That you can look at yourself and come before the Lord and say, look at me, you have you have nothing to complain about. Yeah. Ne možeš nikad reći doći pred Boga, Bože, po, vidi me, vidi me, nema što prigovoriti. None of us. Niko None to ne može napraviti. 
But even if you are Christians who says, yes, we believe in the salvation through Jesus, but God is helping us to keep the law. A i za ljude koji kažu da mi držimo spasenje po Isusu, ali Bog nam pomaže da držimo zakon. The moment you put any emphasis on the law keeping as a means of helping you to heaven, ako bilo kojem trenutku se pozivaš na zakon koji će ti pomoći da dođeš do neba, you are coming on a very slippery road. Vi u, ulaziš na vrlo skrizak ovaj teren. Because immediately question comes how much. Jer odmah je pitanje koliko je dovoljno. And what? I što? And you never know. I nikad ne znaš. You are never certain. Nikad nisi siguran. And I believe this was my story when I was a kid. Ja mislim da je to bila moja you priča kad sam bio mali. I knew about nečin. Jesus. I knew about Jesus. Ja sam znao Jesus. I knew that we are saved by grace. Ja sam znao da smo bili spašeni, da smo spašeni. But there was always something bothering me that unless if this and this and that. Ali stalno nešto uh, uh, kopalo. If I don't do this and that, even Jesus would not help me, you know. <laughs> I, I'm joking. Yes, but it's serious. The truth of the gospel is this. That through Jesus, he gave us Jesus plus nothing. Ništa osim toga. Da, ništa osim toga, da. And that means, to znači, not only the Jewish laws, ne samo židovski zakoni, that means not only ten commandments, ne samo deset zapovjedi, that means all our laws that we are adding, svi naši zakoni koji mi stvaramo. Because we can laugh about Jews how they behaved, we, we can laugh at them about that. Mi se možemo smijati židovima kako, oni, kako se oni ponašaju, but we easily create our own laws, ali mi sami stvaramo svoje zakone, and we think that they are helping us in the process. Ako smatramo da nam oni mogu pomoći u procesu, and you know we can create our own laws, tako da mi možemo stvoriti svoje vlastite zakone rituals, naše rituale just to feel a little bit safer tako da Jesus. se osjećamo malo sigurniji kod Isusa but the gospel is ali evanđelje je that we have in Jesus received the whole package je of primajući Isusa to je evanđelje restored back primajući Isusa primamo cijeli paket ono što je neophodno da obnovimo odnos s Bogom. I, I wanted to read Romans 3:21 and further. Ja sam htio da čitamo Rimljanima 3 od 21 pa nadalje. After there Paul in Romans clearly tells us that we are hope without any hope if we want to rely on, on ourselves and keeping the law. Pao nam kaže da ako se na sebe oslanjamo i na zakon, nemamo nikakve nade. He very clearly states what the purpose of the law is. Vrlo jasno nam naznačuje čemu zakon. It is a standard of God's character. To je standard Božeg karaktera. It tells us we cannot reach it. I govori nam to dosegnuti ne možemo. It opens our eyes for our conditions. Otvara nam oči za naše pravo stanje. When our eyes are open, we realize we have no troubles. Kada nas su nam oči otvorene, onda dolazimo do zagrička da nema šanse. Nemamo šanse. We are helpless, hopeless. Bespomoćni smo i beznadežni. And, and then it says that it condemns us. I onda kaže da nas zakon zapravo obsluži. Because God has never lowered the standard. Jer Bog nikada nije smanjio standarde. But I see the beauty of our Heavenly Father. Ali ja vidim uh, ljepotu našeg nebeskog Otca. This is a mystery. We can't really understand how it works. Uh, ovo je uh, tajna koju baš ne možemo uh, znati kako radi. We are just kako doing our best in trying uh, to reinterpret what happened. Pokušavamo učiniti, na, na, učiniti naše najbolje dok to tumačimo. It is really outside of the realms of our experience. Jer je to izvan našeg iskustva. But I think the beauty of our God was... Ali this. smatram da je ljepota našega Boga and His creativity i njegova kreativnost that he found a way da je on pronašao put and it really tells us how much God loves us through this. I nam uh, ukazuje na to koliko nas Bog ljubi. That he found a way by which he will not lower his expectations. Dakle, pronašao je način da neće smanjiti svoj standard. He cannot do this. He will never do this. Ne može to raditi, nikad to neće raditi. But that he is also so concerned about us that Ali he does tol- want to save us. Toliko je zaprinut za nas da nas želi spasiti that he actually sent him his own son tako da je poslao svog vlastitog sina 
that he would become a man. Da on postane čovjek completely man. Potpuno čovjekom. How this works that he was a complete god and complete man. Kako ovo radi? I don't understand. I Ja to ne razumijem, ali ja to vjerujem. But here in Jesus we had a complete man. Ovdje u Isusu vidimo potpunog čovjeka. It was not a show. To nije bilo neki prikaz. It was not something just to go through some heavenly ritual. To nije bio neki ritual kroz, kroz koji je Bog prošao. He was a real man. On je bio stvarno čovjek. He was hungry. On je bio gladan. He cried. On je plakao. You see that he, we had emotions that we had. Vidjeli, vidjeli, vidjeli ste, on je imao osjećaje, emocije kao što i mi imamo. He agonized. On, on, on je bio in the muka. garden of Gethsemane. U, u recimo u Gethsemane. This was not a show. Ovo nije bio teatar. He, he really had this sense from the garden of Gethsemane to the, to the cross that really God took, uh, turned his back to him. Stvarno se to dogodilo. Da je Bog krenuo u njemu leđa. That was not just a theatrical thing. Nije to bio teatar. He really felt that. On je to osjećio, osjetio. I think, I think that it was again Martin Luther who said that if he were in such a condition, he wouldn't endure even for half an hour. Pa Luther je rekao da je on ušao u takvo stanje u kojem je bio Isus. On ne bi izdježao ni pola sata. It was real. Jer je bilo stvarno. And then when he was on the cross, honey. I onda kad je visio na križu. His pains were real. Njegove, njegove boli su bile stvarne. And I dare say, forgive me if you don't agree. Usuđujem se reći. That he is... Mental and emotional agony was even worse than his da, physical. Da je njegova mentalna i duševna agonija bila daleko veća nego fizička. Because he did experience and felt the punishment in the most real sense. Jer je tamo i tu osjetio kaznu u pravom smislu te riječi. That was not the theater. Ovdje se nije radilo o, that was o, o, o teatru. The o, thing was that whether liberal theologians like it or not, a da li liberalni teolozi to htjeli ili ne? The truth is, istina je ovo, that without shedding of blood, bez proljevanja krvi, there is no redemption. Nema otkupa. There is no salvation. Nema spasenja. The only question was who was going to shed Nego, blood. pitanje ko će proliti krv. And Jesus Christ did it. I Krist je to učinio. And Isus Krist je to učinio. And in mysterious way that I don't understand. I na neki tajnoviti način na koji ja ne razumijem. He managed to take all our histories upon himself. I on je na sebe uzao sve naše povijesti. On na sebe. He was dying our deaths. On je umirao našu, našu smrt. In some other sense. I na drugi način. In Jesus we were all crucified. U Isusu Kristu svi smo mi bili na zapeti. So that means that when he raised on Sunday morning, tako da to znači isto kada je uskrsno u nedelju ujutro, the judgment upon those who believe in Christ was done. Sud uh, nad onima koji vjeruju u Isusa Krista je bio svršen. That's why I think scripture says that those who are in Christ no d- more condemnation. No more condemnation. Zato kažem pismo da oni koji su u Kristu, za njih više nema osu, because we were judged in Jesus Christ. Jer nama je suđeno u Isusu Kristu. And I know we over the time but I have to say ja znam da već je prekoračuje ovo vrijeme ali moram vam ovo reći. Not only his punishment the, 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 on the cross. Ne samo njegova kazna na križu. His life counts towards our righteousness and salvation. Jer čak i njegov život se uračunava nama u pravednost. Because on the cross he did pay everything. Naravno on je na križu platio sve. But in his life he lived the life that we are ali u životu svome on je živio životom koji mi trebamo živjeti. So one day in whichever form this comes, i onda jednog dana, bez obzira na koji oblik to uzelo, in this final accounting, na, u, uh, kad, uh, kad se sve sabere i oduzme, when God was going to look at us, kada nas Bog bude gledao, He will look at Jesus. On će gledati na Isus. And He will be satisfied. I bit će zadovoljen. His perfect life, njegov wow, savršeni life. life. Uh, njegov savršeni život za naš nedostatak. Nedostatan ne, ne život. Punishment on him, kazna na njega, is our punishment. Naša kazna. In some sense, his na standards na, and law are satisfied through this. Na neki način, na ovaj način, Justice is done. Zakona je sad ovo. Satan cannot point at him and say, listen, you are unjust. Ne može se od toga pokazati prsom na tebe da si nepravedan. He cannot say anymore, you are saving those crooked people. Ne može pokoreći, 
Ovim bezbožnike spašavaš. Because the father would say, I accept what my son did. Jer će Bog reći, otac, prihvaćam ono što je moj sin učinio za njih. And just quickly because of the time. I samo vrzo zbog vremena. How does this work in our lives today? Kako to radi u našim životima danas? Does this mean that now we are simply free and just go around and let's go sinning? Slobodni da mi nastavimo griješiti. As Paul was accused of. I Paul Pavel je stvarno ovaj bio nekoliko puta zbog toga optužen. That he was supposedly teaching that now we are free. Da on navodno uči da smo mi sa slobodni griješiti. I'll paraphrase it. Ja ću sad parafrazirati to ne taj to read. Nemam vremena čitati. We live today under the spirit age. Danas živimo u doba duha svetoga, dakle pod duhom svetim. Do you, you know that it is not coincidence that Holy Spirit was given on the same day when the Ten Commandments were given on Sinai? Da li znate da to nije slučajno? Da je Bog poslao duha svetoga na isti datum kada je zakon došao Izraelci. So this he wanted to say from now on it will not be law but it will be the Holy Spirit that leads you. Ono što je htio Bog reći od danas pa nadalje, od sada pa nadalje neće to biti zakon koji će vas voditi nego Duh Sveti. And you know some people say oh ok that means we are now loose. Oh kaže neki će zaključiti a sada smo slobodni. But I am convinced ali ja sam presvjedočen. A ljudi koji žive pod duhom. A ne pod zakonom. Imaju manje mogućnosti da manipuliraju Boga. Jer kad duh sveti dođe sa tihim glasom. I kaže ti, e, ovo nije u redu. Ti je obedijen follower od Jezus. Ti si poslušan sljedbenik Isusa. A možda u jednom trenutku može biti za jedno kratko vrijeme neugodno će ti biti. Ti ćeš slušati i reći ćeš Isuse upravo si. Those who follow Jesus live more consistently with the law of God oni koji slijede Isuse oni žive do slijednije zakon nego oni koji tvrde da vrše zakon. May I boldly say this? Želim reći ovo. Sometimes I would ask some people, when Jesus Christ died for us, ja nekad bi pitao ljude ovako, kad je Isus umro za nas, and when he liberated us from the condemnation of the law, kada nas je oslobodio osude zakona, does he now bring us back to the law after that? Da li nas sada ponovo vraća na zakon? I think not. Ja mislim da ne. It doesn't mean lawlessness. To ne znači bezakonje. Let's just think about this for a moment. Razmislite ovo me za jedan trenutak. Do you believe, agree that law represents God's character? Da li se vi slažete sa mnom da zakon predstavlja Boži karakter? God's moral being. To je njegovo, dakle, to je osnova, dakle, to je osnova njegovog moralnog bića. He has created us in his image. On nas je stvorio na svoje oblič. So, his expectation now is that as moral beings we would believe like him. Da on očekuje da na moralnoj razini živimo pa put njega, na toj razini. Now, we do believe that Jesus Christ is God. Mi vjerujemo da je Isus Hrist Bog. So when we had Jesus among us, we had what I love to call law incarnate. A ono, kad imamo Krista, ono što ja želim reći je, onda imamo utrilovljeni zakon. So today, when you really want to know what the Lord is expecting from you, a kada danas želiš znati što Bog očekuje od tebe, do you go to the Old Testament to the Ten Commandments? Da li odsko prosite u stari zajed pa vrtite deset Božih zapadnika? Or you would rather look at Jesus. Ili ćete radije pogledati na Isus. You would rather read what Jesus said, what he did. Ili čitati što je Isus rekao, što je učinio, kako je živio. Because in him we will learn what the real intent and spirit of the law is. Jer u njemu i po njemu ćemo shvatiti što je svrha i što je duh zakona. Because he is not going to teach us shortcuts. On nas neće naučiti neke kratke puteve 
You know, his sermon on the mount is not an easier thing than the law. Because he doesn't let you manipulate. He tells you some uncomfortable things there. His life, his example, his teaching. And nothing else. But a life that gives meaning to the intention of the law of God. And I believe that the New Testament is teaching us that Holy Spirit, that Duke Svet, is doing everything in agreement with Jesus. That Duke Svet is sve u dogovoru, odnosno u suglasju sa Ona stalno upućuje na Isusa. Pogledaj što je on učinio. Da li se sjećaš što je on poučavao? Ako hoćeš preći sa Isusa, koje ljude možeš uvijeti? Isus ti kaže, pa ne, tu nemaš izbora. Znači, zlo moja Believe me, in some corner to think I can manipulate and decide what the people I can hate. Uh, zakon, uh, uh, ne može, uh, zakon mogu naći lupu, Probably the Lord wants me to love only my people. People in my church. Zakon me recimo uči da ljubim sva ljude iz naše crkve. But those are refugees or immigrants. Ali ovi emigranti, ove, o, ove izbjeglice. You know, I will find in Old Testament verses that will ja me. I will be afraid of them. Stih koji će mi pomoći da ih se, da odustanem od njih. Although you can't. Yeah. <laughs> But, although you can't. Ali ja moram ti reći, nećeš naći takav stih. <laughs> When you go to Jesus, he tells you, uh, I'm not sure that this is right. Kad ođeš Isusu, Isus kaže, pa ja nisam, nije sigurno da si ti u pravu. Because I'm not teaching only to love those who are lovable. Jer ja te poučavam, ne voliš samo one koji se može voljeti. You have to love also your enemies. A trebaš voljeti svoje neprijatelje. So what's more challenging, really? I što je onda teže, i što je... Zazobnije. Je? It's Jesus. Isus. But it is not in disagreement with the law. Ali to nije u sukobu sa zakonom. It just gives a meat to it. It gives a meaning to it. Daje mesto, daje znamenje. It explains what real intention it was when the law was given to people. Objašnjava kakvu namjeru je Bog imao kad je dao zakon. But there is this blessing of Abraham. Ovo je blagoslov Abrahamu. That through Jesus, da po Isusu Hristu, The whole, all people of all nations in Jesus will be counted through Israel. That po po Isu Kristu svi narodi ovaj i plemena će postati pravi Izrael. Through Christ. Istinski Izrael po Kristu. And that this was going to be possible through the working of the Holy Spirit. I da će ovo biti moguće djelovanjem Svetoga Duha. And that this Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. Koji nas vodi u svu istinu. And this truth is never in disagreement with any other real truth in the Bible. Istina nikad nije u sukobu sa bilo kojom drugom istinom u Svetom Pismu. So, Paul was right when he says, you are free. Pao je bio u pravu kad je rekao, slobodni ste. But don't let your freedom, don't abuse your freedom. Ali nemojte zlorabiti svoju slobodu. And probably I've said enough. Možda sam rekao. And more than enough. And more than enough. I možda i više nego dovoljno. I personally find a great joy. Ja osobno nalazim veliku radost. That I don't need to live under conditions. Da ne moram živjeti pod uvjetima. Where I'm constantly, where I constantly have to think. Or have I done this right? Or have I done this wrong? Da ovaj moram stano razmišljati. Jesam mi napravio dobro. Jesam mi napravio krivo. But that I can trust Jesus. Which I mogu pouzati u Isus. That I can trust the working of the Holy Spirit in me. Da se mogu pouzati u dijelo Svetoga Duha u meni. That if Jesus already received me through the sacrifice of Jesus. Da kad me već Isus primio i otac me primio po žrtvi Isusa Hrista. That he will not make a mistake by the way he is now going to lead me through the Holy Spirit. Da neće napraviti sa grešku time što me je povjerio Svetom Duhu. 